it actually helped small businesses. The small businesses then flocked to Saskatchewan and became so successful as a model. That was the reason that the Canadians actually instituted a single pair model. So I think right here, this is the way to go, is to have Minnesota institute a single pair health care. Because quite frankly, it's not going to happen on the federal level. My personal opinion, it's not going to happen on the federal level. It's just not. And the reason being is because our, we just talked with the lobbyists. There are so many lobbyists that are in D.C. right now. There are so many people who are given, actually, I call it bribing Congress right now to vote the way they want to. That I, I quite frankly, have written off D.C. until later. If we can get it here in Minnesota, it can show the single pair can and will work. And just like it did in Canada, it will attract small businesses, it will make our economy healthier. And once that happened, then it can be instituted nationwide. Can I make a comment about this? If you take a look, most of the clinics are spending more money on trying to deal with the insurance companies than taking care of the patients. So they're spending, they have more people working on the clinic just to deal with the insurance companies. You know, and those people could be taken care of. You know, and, and if you don't do anything, talking about job, you know, we'll, we'll be, we're going to lose more jobs if you don't take care of them. One fifth of the GDP is going to self care, and the prices are going up. Nobody can sustain that. Yeah, Do you have any other questions from the media? Thank you. Yes. Yeah, please. Hello, my name is Sarah Hurwich, and my father was Professor Leonid Hurwich, who at age 90 won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 2007, and he passed away last summer. The last two years of my father's life was maintained by wonderful health care that he got. He was on dialysis, and he saw the bills which uh, were sent to him that was over $30,000 per month for that health care. But that health care, he was so grateful because it kept him alive and we were grateful it enabled him to receive the Nobel Prize for work he had done much earlier. My father's only wish was that everyone in this country could qualify when, if they would need it for the same type of wonderful health care that he received. And so I just wanted to make that statement. like to, to say, and I'm certainly open to more, more questions by the, by the media, that as a, as a practitioner, and I, and I know I'm speaking for, for all practitioners in healthcare, from pharmacists to nurses to social workers to physicians to physical therapists to radiologists and so on, that the, the levels of frustration of working in healthcare today have never been higher. And many Many health professionals feel that they've really been robbed of their profession because insurance companies turn health professionals into customer service representatives of the insurance company. And so by the time you end up, we have several jobs that we've been delegated by, by insurance companies. And some of those jobs include that we have to be the billing clerk, we have to determine eligibility, we have to be the, the claims processor, um, we have to be the reimbursement analyst. Uh, we know here at the pharmacy that we have to program the computer when a patient brings in their insurance card. And so we're preoccupied, preoccupied with talking about insurance issues from co-payments and deductibles to premiums and so on. And by the, you know, by, by the time you get to healthcare, um, you've lost a lot of the time that, that we need. Healthcare is, is very labor intensive. Patients take time. We need time with patients. And if we can go to a, a streamlined, efficient, uniform 
healthcare system that's that that is why single payer is the gold standard healthcare system. And if we do that, we know that we can improve the health of this country because then practitioners can get down to to our 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 mission as as health practitioners um, and adhere to our Hippocratic oaths and codes of ethics, um, which which say that the patient comes first. And and that is why we're saying that we need we immediately need to implement single payer um, government funded healthcare system. Joel, since you brought up providers, um, I know there's a lot of frustration with the system as it is, but my <coughs> email box kind of fills up sometimes with providers who are saying we don't want <coughs> don't want government run healthcare. There, there's a real, you know, philosophical uh, problem that some providers have, and also some members of the public, with saying that the government's going to take over something. So how do you respond to that? Because I do hear a lot from providers who are leery of government run healthcare. Sure. Uh, well, let's let's take physicians um, at Universal Healthcare Action Network of Minnesota. We collaborated with the University of Minnesota School of Public Health. Um, we published a study in Minnesota Medicine. We surveyed a random sample of over a thousand physicians in Minnesota, representing the 17,000 physicians in Minnesota. And we found that when we asked them, "Are you in favor of single payer, managed care, insurance companies?" Or, or managed care health savings accounts, those three systems, two-thirds of Minnesota physicians were in favor of, of the single-payer health care system. So, um, and that, that majority held even for physicians when, when you adjust you know, for membership in the Minnesota Medical Association. So uh, we know that you know, even though there may be some individuals from some organizations you know, who say that there are these exceptions, but uh, we're, we're pretty sure, as in that case, that the, that the memberships of these organizations are for sure in favor of single payer. And as I've told you, the Minnesota Pharmacists Association at our House of Delegates meeting, this is even 10 years ago, um, passed a resolution in favor of single payer. Um, the social workers have been, they were the first ones on board with this. Um, the nurses are on board with this. So, so we, you know, we really know that, that practitioners are are in favor of, of single payer healthcare. There may be some exceptions. Uh, you know, there might be. You know, I think uh, certain categories like you know cardiothoracic surgeons. You know, who, you know, who, you know, make quite a bit of you know money on it can get compensated very well. They they may not quite be in favor of it, but uh, and neurologists, but but that's coming around. There's also you know, physicians for a national health program. Uh, I can't remember the. I think they have a membership of. 16,000, they're in favor of it. So, you know, so so that combined with the public opinion polls make it very clear that that the public is in favor of this, and and that is the message that we're trying to get get out here today, and we, we really want you know a chance for for public viewpoints on this whenever whenever we can. Thanks. Did you want to ask a question about how to fund it? You mentioned that question earlier. Um, well, I thought it was answered pretty well yeah, for, the, for, the Minnesota okay. for the Minnesota one. For the Minnesota one, that's very good. Good. Any other questions? Cool. Great. Hey, thanks, thanks guys. Everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks, I know, but I'd have been with Dory on this one. It was, it was very good. It was very good. It was like three hours or something. I heard. Yeah. People were just so passionate. Um, I mean, I thought we were going to talk about this stuff for 20 minutes, get the campfire going, and sing folk songs. <laughs> but we never, we never all got business. around to that. It was all business. People were just like incredibly passionate, incredibly thoughtful. I mean, I was thinking that after, even after we did intros, I was saying, this could be a press conference. People were just, and it, it, it just really inspired me. But the problem was, that, hey, thank you so much. We'll be able to tune in to 